Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my quarterly empties from beauty products to home products, anything that I enjoyed. Some makeup, skincare, hair care, stuff for the house, that kind of thing. So before we get started, I'm telling you I have nothing on my nails right now because I'm giving my nails a bit of a break because they have had uh, some nail polish on them quite a bit lately. So I'm giving them a bit of a break, but what's on my lips? I do have my lips filled completely with NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Bad Girl. So that's this color here. And of course I have to have lip gloss. So this is Buxom's White Russian. So that is what I have on my lips. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of stuff. So if you guys aren't familiar with what I do on the quarterly is I discuss all of my trash. <laughs> Not all of it, but basically hair care, skin care, everything beauty and all a little bit of household stuff but if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing like down below and definitely comment if any of these things have worked for you haven't worked for you i may have to ask your advice on some of these things if you know something better <laughs> and things like that so now we're going to discuss my empties and these i have been collecting since december so december january february so let's start off with some uh house care laundry care this is downy unstoppables in the wash scent booster in the scent fresh i really enjoy putting this in with my laundry it doesn't matter what it is especially athletic wear and um like towels and things like that I really enjoy that um we get ours from costco so kind of whatever scent that they have available um this is a quite a large one it's 30.3 ounces and it lasts three months there may be more in here <laughs> i'm not sure um, but I do have some makeup remover cleansing towelettes from Neutrogena. I do enjoy these ones. Of all the towelettes I've tried, these ones are the best. Um, I'm lazy taking off my makeup. I should probably just cleanse with a cleanser. And I do in the shower, but at night when I just want to go to bed at 8.30 at night, <laughs> I just want to take my makeup off with these. I know that some people don't like or agree with these. Um, but I'll use them until they're gone and then I'll probably just end up cleansing because I got a big box at Costco. So anyway, this is the Neutrogena, the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. They have the best juice in them, I find. We have two Oil of Olay, or as Nelson likes to say, Oil of Olady. <laughs> he uses it too. Um, we have two of these, so we each use this. I use mine at nighttime and he uses her, his after he has a shower. So. Um, he actually puts a little bit on his hand, on the tops of his hands too. Um, and I think he has better looking hands than I do. We have a hairspray. It takes a while for me to go through a hairspray. I generally use hairspray to set curls before I kind of finger, like put my fingers through them just to get them to sit there a little bit more. But also when I have my hair in a ponytail pretty much every other day, I definitely spray my hair down up here because I have very, very fine, thin hair and flyaways are crazy. It doesn't take long before I have little horns coming out everywhere. Anyway, so for $12.99, $12 this is the Joyful K Pack Protective Hairspray. I think what it was level, the level four out of 10 for hold. It wasn't super significant, but I don't need my hair to be um, cemented in, but really enjoyed this one. I did find this, as, as I said before, for $12.99 at Winners. Speaking of hair care from earlier, I've got the Milkshake Inc. Incredible Milk 12 Effects Spray. I've gone through this. My stylist sell, sells this in her salon, but she has a new one as well that I'm going to probably try in a couple months because I'm working on something else right now. Um, but it's um, this one would probably work for thicker hair. Um, whereas the other one, cause it is, it does work for me. I really love it and it smells great, but it can be a little wearing on thin hair, like fine thin hair. So there is another, like a, the same brand has a different style of it out and it's a little lighter. I think it's just to add water to it probably. Um, but anyway, I really do enjoy this. It's kind of like, it's a 10 and all that thing or this one has 12 effects where it's a 10 is 10 effects. I don't care. It's all marketing, right? Whatever. You're going to get me. You're going to get me. I'm going to buy stuff just cause I think it's good. And it smells really good. You smell like summer slash sometimes, I wanna say it smells like popcorn, buttered popcorn. And now I'm hungry. I have one toothpaste. Again, this box is so big. I'm just pulling and showing. So this is what Nelson uses, the Pro Enamel, oops, that's French, Pro Enamel Daily Anti-Cavity Toothpaste. So this is what he uses for his teeth, completely gone. I used up the conditioner before the shampoo because that's how I am. I'm the conditioner user upper before the shampoo user upper. 
but I love this. Again, my stylist does sell this. I'll probably, I gotta go see her next weekend. So I'll probably be picking up another shampoo and conditioner. This is Moroccan Oils Extra Volume Shampoo. This is color safe sulfate, fair, uh, phosphate, paraben free. This is for fine to medium hair. Again, I really love it and the smell is incredible. Went through this Glade Pro Health Comfort Plus Floss. I have really tight teeth. Um, so this Comfort Floss is great because it's got like a little bit of almost silicone on the, silicone on the outside so I can wiggle it through. Um, but I do enjoy this floss and yeah, definitely. I've been using this particular brand forever and sometimes I forget to put them in here and sometimes I don't. I don't know. We went through a Listerine. This is Costco size Mamma Jamma. It comes with two. So I think we're on almost finished actually the other one. So we went through this and we're almost completed the other. This is the value size Listerine Ultra Clean Stain Protection. All that fun stuff. <laughs> this is in the Arctic Mint. The one thing I will say because there's alcohol in it is like, <laughs> you like rinse your mouth out. You're just like, it is a hat. So yeah, went through, went through one of those. So I completed a package of this, of uh, these face masks. I picked this up at Winners. This whole box cost $12.99 and it did have, um, how many did you have? I don't even know, it doesn't say. I wanna say there was at least, at least six to eight of these inside here. I can't really, it's all in a different language. I think it's Korean, but. Um, I enjoy them for me. Face masks, there hasn't been too many. Most of the high-end ones do a little bit more for me. Um, but these ones here just basically give some extra moisture. So I do like this, but it's all gone. So, and I, like I said, I got out winners. I don't even know if I can get this again. Oh, you guys, we need to talk. So Sephora has got to be coming up with their spring sale soon. This is when I picked this up. So this is the Tatcha, the water cream. It had the little little thing on top and this was beautiful i used that sucker up um so yeah really like this one and the water cream is great i have like normal to oily skin but i really found this to be great i did use this during the daytime um but it's all gone and look at the pretty packaging and everything not that packaging matters but it's really nice to look at but really hoping sephora has their sale soon hmm <laughs> just saying here we have a very old Fall for Pumpkin, pumpkin vanilla scented body butter from um, the body shop. Um, this was older. I had this for two years. Plus I think when I bought it, it was like a BOGO after Christmas sale. So it's an old stock. It was, uh, it had lost its luster, I'd say. It, I, and I never opened it until I went to go use it, but it was a couple of years old. So I'd say if you have body butters, try to use them up when you like as soon as you can so again this is a vanilla pumpkin version this was nice but not my favorite smell i ended up putting it on towards my, like my legs rather than up in my upper body so i didn't have to smell it it wasn't horrible it's just you know i miss with my fragrances what can i say and the matching shower gel so this is a vanilla pumpkin shower gel again this was okay it's a basic scent i don't find shower gels from really almost anywhere to last on my skin for very long and besides when i get out if i don't have the matching lotion i'm definitely putting a different lotion on and then i'm putting fragrance on but it did the trick it uh, was nice but i wouldn't probably repurchase this my favorite from the body shop for their bogo like that like their sale after christmas is the raspberry one the raspberry one really good i miss that one so juicy yummy but um i probably wouldn't repurchase this one went through a poof didn't go through as many soaps as I usually do, but I was, to be fair, I was also working in the month of February. So I know I'm almost out of two different soaps right now. So we're getting close, but because I wasn't at home the whole time, of course, um, I didn't use the soap as much. And um, this one here is the Frosted Cranberry. They're all from Bath and Body Works. All of them are the Foaming Hand Soap. This one is Frosted Cranberry, Red Delicious Apple, and Blonde Wood. Really enjoyed that one. Frosted Cranberry is one of my favorite scents from, um, Bath and Body Works. So is this one. And I have backups of this one. So this is Vanilla Bean Noel, Fresh Vanilla Bean, Warm Caramel, and Sugar Cookies. Yes, very good. Why is it all the things I love make me want to... I'm hungry. It said sugar cookies. I want sugar cookies. I don't have time to make sugar cookies, but I want them. 
So Raspberry Tangerine, this is the one I picked up for Nelson. I actually bought another one. And this is Wild Raspberries, Fresh Tangerine and Lemon Zest. Very delicious. And probably my favorite of this bunch, I was on my favorites for the month of January. That was Cotton Freesia. I love this one. I would definitely pick this one up again. It's, it smells so good on my hands. It lasted after I washed my hands. I can definitely smell this for a while. 100% would re recommend and repurchase this one. I have a little mini Tatcha. <laughs> the same water cream as before, but in a little mini. No, I just start, I started, you're gonna see shortly all these sample sizes that I have and that I used in these three months. Cause I'm like, you know, I saved all these sample sizes for traveling and then we are not allowed to travel. So I just was like, screw it. I'm gonna just start using these ones. So this is a smaller version of this one. So this is the big daddy and this is a little baby. So I have some Lush products here that we're gonna talk about now. There's quite a few. So this one's one of my absolute favorites. I have this in fragrance from Lush. This is Rose Jam. So this is absolutely delicious. It's just exactly the title. It's a rose, it's a jammy rose. So it, yes, it is a rose, but I'm not a big floral fan, but this makes it so much better. It's, it's like Turkish rose and sweet jam. It's gorgeous. I have more of these. Snow Fairy. You guys know, I love this one. I have so much of my backup, you guys. I'm gonna be like snow fairied out by the end of 2021. So I did pick up a lot of this, this past Boxing Day. That was Boxing Day 2020 from Lush. Um, I really do enjoy this one and I can't, can't believe I took this long to actually love it, but I absolutely adore this one. Roasting chestnuts on an open fire. This one I didn't like, so I'm glad I bought the little one. I know when it came out, I wanted to try it. So I bought the little one and didn't go crazy and buy a big one. I'm glad I got the little ones. Not my favorite. I think I have one or two backups um, I'll use for bubble bath or things like that, but it wasn't my favorite. I probably wouldn't repurchase this one. Went through a snowflake body lotion. This is really nice. I actually use it as hand cream. So as we know, we're washing our hands. I just showed you all my soaps a little while ago. Um, I really enjoyed this one. It was really thick. I will say like I, I had this one at home. First of all, because it was a screw top. I didn't take it to work with me or anything like that. But also too, because it took a little while to sink into your cuticles, your hands. But once it did, man, it moisturized. And I didn't feel like I had to put that much on, but it went quickly because I wash my hands quite often. But um, really enjoyed this one. So if you, and I know this was a seasonal item, so it's likely to come back next Christmas. Fingers crossed. Sugar Plum Fairy. This was so good. <laughs> this is a lip scrub from Lush. As you can see, all gone. The lip scrubs at Lush are by far the best ones I have tried out there. There's a perfect amount of sugar and um, whatever other potions that they have with it, but you can eat it too. It's non-toxic, um, but this is so good. It's so yummy. So I'm almost uh, finished the other one in the shower too. So I'm sure you're gonna see one or two of these empties in the next quarter, but this is again, Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub from Lush. Speaking of scrubs, one of my favorite scrubs from one of my favorite brands. This is Elf Morning Blend, and this is from the Bathing Garden. They do wax melts, uh, hard soaps, as well as loads of body care. So like scrubs and lotions and uh, like whipped soaps and things like that. But their Elf Morning Blend is one of my favorites. Their wax melt and Elf Morning Blend is one of my absolute favorites. They did not disappoint me with this one either in the form of a sugar scrub because it is coffee, peppermint, candy canes, vanilla, like you name it, it's in there. And this is so good. So I use these scrubs for my feet. Um, so I do a really good thorough scrub on my feet. Plus I also do like a little foot thing, you know, like a scraping, you know, fun things after my bath. And so I use this also to help exfoliate as well at the end. So it makes my feet nice and polished. I have some wallflower bulbs. Now I always place the tags that this isn't their scents can't remember so I just put the tags that are on currently out there are what's in here so but I do have frosted cranberry tis the season so two frosted cranberries and two tis the seasons I do love them and as you guys can see especially like here I took one out there it's a little late taking it out here there is still some left um, and the reason why and I say this all the time as an ex-firefighter guys I like to take those out a little bit before they've come dry because they do suck energy. They use that juice to, you know, they're using, they're plugged into your outlet. So when you're out of the juice, what are they sucking up? But rather it, that little thing there could catch fire too. So anyway, always keep an eye on them to pull them out just a little bit before they're done. We have a couple stinky sprays that we put in the bathroom. <laughs> 
This one we it probably took us a year and a bit to get through, but this is the pumpkin gingerbread. I've had this for a very long time, but I leave this by the toilet and it's used as a little spray. So I have this one's completely gone. This is from the Bath and Body Works. And then this one here is Buttermint Rosemary Sprigs Room Spray that I received in my Super Tart Advent Calendar 2019, I think. This one wasn't as good a smell. This one was definitely more potent. Yeah, good. Speaking of foot relief or foot scrub, I actually used up. This was something I got for free when I placed an order with Aveda back in the spring of 2020. Foot relief moisturizing cream intensely moisturizes, soothes and smooths and soothes tired feet. I liked it actually. I felt this was really nice. Um, would I repurchase again? I'd probably order a bigger size if I, um, or not if, if or when I order from a beta again, but this was quite nice. My first beauty blender I ever had finally kicked the bucket and that's been clean. Every single time I used it, I cleaned it and it's dirty and it's gross and it's done. Blah. So I have a few uh, mascaras. Now, here's the thing. So one of these I pretty much used until I couldn't use again. And then and this is, sorry, the uh, Voluminous voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. There's a second one. I can't remember which one's which, but one of them I used up for quite some time, had no issues. The other one I used up, and I know this one dries up really quickly. It got really clumpy on me. My lashes, I'm getting older, and my lashes are a little more sparse. And so this does not help <laughs> the situation, um, but it also flaked in and that onto my face. And this one I used to love. I absolutely used to love it and I don't love this anymore. I don't know, maybe they've changed something about this. This is the Fall Seas Volume Express by Maybelline. Again, used to love this, but I don't know what happened. Not for me anymore. Again, this was purchased in the springtime Sephora VIB sale. I'm really hoping it comes out soon. This is expensive, you guys. This is like, this is over $120 for this tiny little thing right here. If I'm gonna get 20% off, I'm gonna wait for the 20% off. <laughs> I do love this. I have another one I'm currently using. I think I'm don't know about here on that bottle and currently, um, I love this. I just splash this on. I put a serum on first and then I put this on and then so on and so forth. It just, it makes my skin feel so nice. And I, I am 42 on my 43rd year and I'm definitely taking care of my skin more and more. I'm getting old. So I have a whole bunch of skincare here. I'm just gonna run down. You guys know this is a favorite of mine. I have repurchased this many, many times. This is the Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Oil Free Serum. Love this and will continue to repurchase this. This one I received as a sample. This is Shiseido Power Infusing Concentrate. This is nice, but I think it's awfully expensive. This is just like a sample size that I was given. Um, I'm sure that alone is probably like $20 worth of that stuff. And that's like not even, I don't even know. It's 0.33 fluid ounces. So I, I loved it, I really enjoyed it, but it's very expensive. Then we have some Pixie. This is a Rose Tonic, the Nourishing Toner. This was okay, it didn't do too much to me. I, thought, I think if I was gonna go to, with a Pixie, it would definitely be the Glow Tonic. I really enjoy that one. These were just some sample ones, which I'm glad I got because now I know which one I kinda like more than the other, so that's cool. I know we have more of these, I don't know where they are. They don't always make it into the bin. This is the ocean scented um, from the men's collection for the antibacterial hand sanitizer. We have them all over the place in the car. I just don't know if they always make it into this basket. Clearly they don't. This is something I'm getting. And my friend Julie here on YouTube, she's a subscriber and she's a local Canadian. She's from Quebec. She tried this out as well. And she's like, oh my gosh, this was amazing. Such a skin saver. And now if you live in a climate, I probably wouldn't use this in the summer. This is the number seven uh, laboratory skin paste so what i would do is I, I wouldn't use this in the summer it's just too much in the summer but at nighttime before bed i played applied this after all my other skincare like a moisturizer but I, what i did is i put it a liberal amount on my face let it sit for five minutes and then rub it in to my skin and in the morning your face is so plump and not dry. And especially right now, we're in probably the coldest time of year where I live currently in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's the coldest time of year, uh, sub-zero temperatures. This is a lifesaver. Absolutely recommend this, especially if you need that little extra help in the winter. Something that surprised me, actually, this was a sample. It's gonna be hard to read, so I'll just read it out to you. This is from Pure, the four-in-one correcting primer. I actually really enjoyed this one. I got to use this packet. There's enough for 
four uses, I believe. And I loved it. My, my powder went on really well, but also my liquid foundation applied very nicely. Um, I'm considering purchasing this. Like, I, I really would. So I really enjoyed this one. Some samples here we have. Uh, it's all in French. It's sort of like a little lotion for skin. It's by La Roche-Posay. Um, it was a nice moisturizer. I only got to use it a few times. As you can see, it's not very big. Um, most of it was packaging. Most of it's not filled. So, uh, but it was nice. But when I repurchased, it didn't do any like miracle things for my skin. But I know La Roche-Posay is like fantastic. I really do love that company. Here we go. Another sample I was given. This is Shiseido's a bit, uh, Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. I liked it. I didn't really see a big difference. I need wrinkle smoothing and depuffing. Again, any comments down below of anything, depuffing and wrinkles right here. I mean, they're, they're laugh lines. I deserve the laugh lines were earned. But these ones I could I could really do without. But, you know, I know nothing is going to be a miracle. But uh, this was okay. I probably wouldn't purchase this again. This, again, was part of the Pixie sample packs I bought like a year ago. This is the vitamin C leave-on mask. So this is like an overnight mask that you put on your face. It was good, but nothing to write home about. Other products I would rather have. Now, this one here was uh, given to me as a sample. This is from Neostrata. This is a skin active firming, triple firming neck, neck cream. I'm like, I think I might be at that age where I might need a neck cream or something. And like that, that was quite nice. Now, what I'll say is this is the sample here. It wasn't like the largest sample size. So I can't really tell you if it really did much of a difference. But, but just plain moisturizing your neck is probably step one. Um, but if this was like three times the size, I might see a difference, but I would not say no to purchasing a full size of this just to see if it did. It didn't do anything bad. So like I said, you know, when it says that there's 0.35 fluid ounces, that means it's about filled up to about here and the rest of it's all air. So you know how it goes. This took me forever to get through, which is good. It lasted a long time. This is the Laneige uh, Pear Scented lip gloss balm i think what are they a lip glowy balm is what they advertise this to be i've had the, i've been using this for like three months and i finally like i'm at the death grip right now to squeeze it out so i'm just saying i'm bidding it adieu now but this is really great there's so many different uh flavors scents that they have that i would be very interested to try also there's some fresh ones that are really cool like they've got a mango one coming out coconut like, yes, please, a passion fruit one I think I saw. But they're in the tin and you have to put your finger in it. So I'm like, I'm not sure. I like these ones too. I don't know. You might see a haul. Who knows? Some more makeup empties. This is the Brightener from the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser of Dark Circles Treatment and Concealer. I use this under my eyes down the T-zone to brighten up. Um, I love, I know a lot of people get icked out when it comes to the sponge that's on here. I don't really care. I, I use these quite readily. That <laughs> I'm going to go through them quite often. Um, but you twist it up. And the nice thing is, is you see all the product going down, 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 down. It's so satisfying to see your products like going down before your eyes. You're like, ooh, you're good. You're empty. I need more. But the problem is, is that here in Canada, I cannot find this brightener. If it wasn't for my friend Ramona, I would not... I would not be able to get this because she's the one who sends me stuff from Texas. I may have to like bribe a friend of mine out down south after she moves back up here because I'll, I'll lose that. I don't, I won't be able to get it anymore. If you are Canadian and you can find the brightener shade, let me know. Next up, I have a Wet n Wild. It is the Photo Focus Pressed Powder in Natural Buff. So in the winter, I am pretty light. So I figured I should stop using this so I wasn't digging my brush into it. But it's a baked product. So as you can see there, that is like the dome. And I just have the little bits around the edges. And I just didn't want to wreck my brush. You guys, for a powder that is $5, $5.99 Canadian, it's probably $3 American. This is fantastic. I absolutely love this. I've gone through so many. I've actually even had many different shades in this particular item because of different times of the year. So 100% would repurchase this one. Again, I'm in the natural buff shade in the wintertime because I'm a ghost. Casper the ghost. And I'm wearing white. Why well, am I making myself even more pale? Hey, might as well. Then I keep all the sample sizes in a Ziploc bag because they're sample sizes and 
sometimes I leak, sometimes I don't get all of it out. We have the Verve, um, let me see, we have the Verve. I got these as samples from Sephora. This is either the clarifying shampoo or the hair mask. It didn't really do anything for me. I wouldn't purchase that again. I also received a sample of the Drunk Elephant Camille Body Cream, bo sorry, Cream Body Cleanser. Very overpriced, I think, for what it is. Then we have, again, from Drunk Elephant, the Sealy Body Lotion. No. Um, no. Uh, we have the Saturday Skin Waterfall. It was nice. It moisturized. It was just like a lotion. I've never tried this, but I was like freaking out. I used the Glam Glow Youth Mud. I always... I know what clay like clay masks do and what they look like, but I totally had no idea that there was like chunks in this thing. Like I had chunks all over my face. I'm like, okay, I hope it does something. I'll say it felt nice. Um, I had this uh, put this on when I was having a bath one night, and it, it was very nice. It made my skin feel like a baby's bottom. Vichy's uh, shampooing cleanser. Yeah, no. <laughs> and Vichy would be very expensive. This is expensive, but it's skincare and I love it. <laughs> I don't know, there's so many things from Lancome and Estee Lauder that I love, especially their serums, but they're so expensive. So again, Sephora, have your sale. Come on, have your sale soon, because we need discounts. Come on, please. I have two of these. There are two sets of shampoo and conditioners from the Playa line. Um, Super National Conditioner and Everyday Shampoo. It wasn't anything special, so. No, I won't be buying any more of that. Now, this I can definitely get here in Canada. I know that we do, we're, we had the luxury of being able to get all these different other types of oils. This was lovely. And I think this might be something I would purchase in for the summertime. Really lovely oil. This is the Nooks Multi-Purpose Dry Oil Face Body Hair. It would be for my body. I would not put this on my face. But um, they also have like the glowing one with the little, almost looks golden to give you a little bit of reflex. But really love this. Nux is great. I know that a lot of people love their lip balm and things like that from that brand as well. This I love. I love Living Proof Shampoo and Conditioner. And for my hair, this is great. This is the Living Proof Full Shampoo and Conditioner. So it helps my very fine thin hair um, out a little bit. So I like this one. I would definitely, I have purchased this in the, in the past. I would definitely think about purchasing that in the future. The Way Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, This one was okay. I didn't feel like it did anything extra. And I know I like some whey products, um, some other products for my hair, but for shampoo and conditioner, I just, I need to stand out to give me a little something extra. So that's a no for on the repurchase. Used up one of my eye, my eye gel things, my patches for under my eyes. Picked up a pack of these. I've got lots more still in the bag. It's very windy out. We're supposed to get snow later. Mm. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I used one of these because um, I had like no sleep one night. <laughs> and anyway, so long and short of it is I love these types of things under my eyes. Like I said before, I suffer from like poofy eye, under eyes as well as wrinkles and fun things. Um, I've purchased many t different types. Types. If you guys know of a patch under your eye patch or whatever that works really good on those days that you just want that little extra oomph, let me know because I can definitely use your advice. And from the same company, that's that's another one. Apparently I had two. That's it, everybody. That was a lot of empties. Thank you so much for sticking around. And again, if you're new, please consider subscribing. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I needed help. I had to ask you guys some favors because I need my my under eyes. I maybe can't tell with the bright light of outdoors, but it's a problem. So anyway, you guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.